Today I'm going to be making a video for a collab on anxiety and depression and the purpose is to sort of educate people and raise awareness for these things and I have major depression and generalized anxiety. When my anxiety gets bad, I have lots of thoughts. They're all focused on really negative things, all sorts of bad things happening. Anything from worrying about failing a test to being afraid of being murdered. And like sometimes I even have to put something behind my door at night so, like, so I feel more safe. Even though like I'm afraid and worrying about all these things, like I understand logically that the probability of these things happening is very small, yet I'm still worried a lot about them. And there are also physical symptoms as well. Like I often start breathing louder and faster. I feel really tense. I get stomach aches a lot. When you're anxious, it's really hard to think. Like I go to take a test or trying to finish something up last minute, my mind just completely goes blank because I'm just so worried. It's like I can't think. My mind is just, just shutting down, not doing any of that anymore. And that kind of makes it you worry even more, which is not a good thing. And before I got help, I would feel really anxious like this every day for most of the day. And then it would get really bad for about five hours of the day. And sometimes when my anxiety is really bad, it escalates into a panic attack, which is where the anxiety gets really intense. You feel dizzy and numb and lightheaded and your thoughts become completely irrational. Like you become afraid of everything. I usually also get this feeling that's like being injected or erased from reality kind of feeling. It's really scary, but luckily I haven't had a panic attack in a while, so that's a good thing. So the depression feels like being really sad and really tired and having no energy or motivation at all, all wrapped up in a big blanket of apathy and misery. So you just feel really awful. You feel tired. You feel like you sleep all day long. And so, so you do sleep all day long. You don't feel like you feel no motivation or need to get up. So you get kind and everything you need to do, which makes you feel worse. And you just feel miserable. It's like, no, I need to sleep all day. You just have so much apathy, like you just don't care about anything else. So you have all these things that you need to do, just you don't have any motivation. You don't care if they get done, you're just, no, I, I don't care, I'm, I feel awful, I'm going to go to sleep, sort of thing. Really miserable, tired feeling all the time. Luckily everyone who knows has been very supportive of me. My family has tried to help out a lot, my friends have been really nice. Everyone in the YouTube community who has seen my videos where I've talked about this sort of stuff has they've all been really supportive, leaving really nice comments for me and I appreciate that a lot. At school there's they have really good like counseling and psychiatric services place which has helped. The advisors in the advising office have been really helpful and letting professors know when I haven't been able to go to class for like a week or so, or I've been in the hospital or something like that. They've been very good at sort of helping me out in that kind of way. Well, different professors are, have different levels of understanding and how lenient they are and giving time to make things up. Like some of them are like, okay, yeah, you've, you have two days to get this in. And others have been like, oh yeah, take all the time you need. Just, it's important that you get better and that your, your, your well-being is the most important thing. So. Yeah, how, how the professors re like react to me needing extra time really varies a lot, but overall, everyone's been supportive and I'm happy about that. Support from other people has helped me a lot to deal with this. I've also had medications, which even though it took me a while to find the right ones that work for me, like when I did find the right ones, they have helped out a lot. I've been going to therapy every week. I see both like a one-on-one -on -one person and then I go to like a group therapy at my school with other students. For the anxiety, I found the thing that helps most with that is breathing exercises such as meditation or if you only have a little bit of time just sort of really paying attention to your breathing and focusing on it, trying to enjoy every breath sort of thing that helps to really calm me down a lot just thinking about that. And I'm currently still in the process of figuring out more ways to cope with these things, but 
hopefully I will get better and learn more and be able to do this even better in the future. So, good luck to everyone.